My name is uh, Stein Stumpel and I'm the lead designer for Manus VR. We're showing off our gloves, the Manus gloves, uh, together with the HTC Vive Tracker, how it puts your hands and your arms in VR. We've been working on this for a little bit over two years now. Well, we're, we're doing the hand and the fingers, but because of the Vive Tracker is on the wrist, we can estimate what your arm is doing. So we have full arms, your elbows, your shoulders, your wrists, your hands, your fingers. We have, uh, we have an SDK where one of the things we're compatible with is the Vive, but we want as many uh, developers working with the glove as possible, obviously. Well, what was very important for us is that the Vive uh, has good positional tracking, so the glove registers what the fingers are doing, what the hands are doing, but Vive is really good at positioning it in space. And before the tracker, we had this little plastic object that we had to click the controller into to get positional tracking. And now with the tracker, we just put it on our wrist and uh, it's much more, uh, much more friendly form factor. So really, you were taking advantage of the top of the old Vive controllers, and you're basically strapping them to people's wrists? Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's some videos online of it. It, it, it looks kind of clunky. Once you're in VR, you don't really feel it as much, but this one is definitely uh, much more comfortable. Yeah, we've, we've got five seconds of latency between the hand motion and the computer. Yeah, we, uh, so it's... Five milliseconds. Yeah, it's hardly noticeable. Okay. Yeah. Wow, that's not bad at all. And uh, it tracks every finger? Yeah, it tracks all the fingers, yeah. Well, foot tracking is interesting, but right now we're really focused on getting the hand as good as possible. But once we figure out the hands, I guess feet are also a step, but it's not really on the roadmap right now. We're really focused on getting the hand input as good as we can possibly get it. Yeah, it's, it's something that's really clearly missing from VR, especially before the announcement of the track controllers. There was really no way to track your hands in VR. And yeah, that's something you really, you want your body in VR, you want your hands in VR, you want to interact with it. Your hands are the ways that you interact with the real world. And you're obviously trying to make the virtual world as, as real as you can get it. And hands are very important for that. Uh, they're starting at uh, $1,000 per pair. That's without the tracker. We're, we're mainly focused right now on uh, selling to businesses. There's a lot of interest from, uh, from the industry on training their employees or simulating environments virtually. Um, eventually, down the road, we're looking at a consumer market, but right now we're focused on B2B mostly. Yeah, we, we, we get a lot of requests from companies all over the world that really want to use our glove, and we can, uh, we can manufacture enough to, to supply the demand at this point. It's uh, a really good response. That's a high quality problem, right? Yes, yes. Well, great. Well, thank you very much for your time. All right, thank you.